and gentlemen, welcome to another Pacific Pioneer Broadcasters Luncheon. Here's your president, Chuck Street. Thank you, and good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this very special luncheon presented by the Pacific Pioneer Broadcasters. Today's program is sure to be very entertaining. Just look at our dais. We will present the coveted Art Gilmore Career Achievement Award to a most accomplished television and motion picture actor, comedian, voiceover actor, writer, and he's best known for his improvisational comedy. During today's luncheon, we will pay tribute to Mr. Fred Willard. Our next day as speaker has an incredible resume. I will mention just some of the highlights. He grew up in a family of magicians. His father was a performing magician and a Los Angeles defense attorney. His mother was an early TV pioneer, a children's entertainer known as the Magic Lady. Milt was a writer for the classic Ralph Edwards audience participation TV show, Truth or Consequences. He collaborated with many other writers, such as Richard M. Sherman. He has appeared as an actor on TV's Heart to Heart, and he appeared as the back and hands of actor Raul Julia as Gomez Adams in The Adams Family, performing his famous tablecloth yank. His tablecloth pulling gag has been seen in many TV shows and films. He hosts a weekend radio show on CRN Digital Talk Radio called Hear Them Again for the First Time. And he founded the Magic Castle in Hollywood. He was honored with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Let's welcome Mr. Milt Larson. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. I'm not going to try to top any of these wonderful jokes because I'm really a very serious kind of a guy. And uh, I did, I asked if it'd be okay, and I know it is okay, I haven't asked Fred, but it'd be okay if I, I put together a little slide presentation. And I, I think it's very nice, it's about the family and everybody in your thing. And it's, it's, it's not too long, but uh, I know everybody will enjoy it, you've got the thing. So, for my first slide, uh, now this is, this was taken on a Hollywood Boulevard bus, a double deck, and he was at a nudist party up on the upper deck, and uh, uh, he almost fell off, and that leads me to my next slide presentation, which is, oh, this seems to, oh, I, I can't show that, so it's a... And I, I am, a, a, you know, pretty much known as a magician and uh, because of the magic castle and, and all that sort of thing. And, and uh, I do occasional magic things. And uh, let's see, I had one here that Fred taught me. And, uh, well, I guess it disappeared. Yeah. <laughs> uh, at any rate, uh, that's gone. Uh, and, uh, you know, you're talking about, you guys were talking about where you were born and, you know, uh, uh, Shaker Heights and Ohio and everything. And it's always a surprise to my friends and people that uh, I was actually born in the Far East. And people don't really know that. Pasadena. <laughs> and, uh, let's wait for it. And, Anyway, but I did want to bring one trick. This is not the one that Fred showed me because it's, it's, it's really too good for him. But uh, the old handkerchief trick. Amazing. It's even more amazing. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, a silk wants to be tied in a knot and you don't want to tie it in a knot. So at that point, you just... Let it do that, and it ties itself. We do all these wonderful things at the Magic Castle. <laughs> but, but the one thing that people do not know, and I did the same thing, everybody here, we really don't know much about Fred. Uh, so I Googled him, 
And about 20 pages later, I found that he's, he does about seven pictures a year and has been doing that forever. And uh, uh, an amazing guy. There was a, one of our vaudevillians at the Variety Arts, uh, Whitey Roberts. He was, lived to be about 100 years old. And his ad in Variety every week was always working. And I guess that's got to be you. But at any rate, the uh, people do not know that when Fred was a young man, and in his youth, he was an excellent magician. Uh, is true? Yes. So, but people just, that's not, I've, I read the whole Google thing, and not one word about him being a magician. And the thing that is really remarkable about this is that he, he was, well, quite honestly, you weren't a very good magician. But uh, I was a, uh, hired to do a technical job on a picture called Bed Knobs and Broomsticks, a Walt Disney musical, the Sherman Brothers, of course. That's how I got the job. And uh, uh, they were looking for a really bad magician. And uh, they wanted to, uh, the lead park was a, a bumbling, terrible magician. And they naturally thought of me because uh, th that's what I do. But I was hired as a technical, they, and they asked my my opinion on casting the picture. And I said, Fred Willard would be fantastic. He's a really bad magician. And, you know, I mean, he could just do it. They, they hired David Tomlinson to do the part, and it was kind of cool. But, but you know, you would have just been excellent about that. Because people would, you know, not knowing too much about Fred and his experience, that uh, he really would have been great at that part. And, Fred has taught me almost everything I know. This is the cut and restore rope trick. Unfortunately, I cut it and couldn't find the other half to restore. <laughs> but, uh, but that's the kind of stuff you taught me, Fred. And so I just, uh, we don't have too much time. Uh, Arlene, incidentally, Arlene provided these little flashlights for you. That's, that's very nice. Uh, but take a bow, Arlene. And I only say that because right after my speech, she has to drive me back to the home. It's a ta tapioca night. And uh, so, uh, we, you know, and we live in Santa Barbara, and, uh, and uh, I don't know the way, so she has to drive. But at any rate, but because a lot of people, you know, I'm, I'm going to say one of the things, while I'm still on, not on the subject, but uh, I have a wonderful doctor, we were talking about our doctors, and uh, I had a, a great physical the other day, and I'm only 84, I'm a youngster compared to, well, not you, you're a youngster, but at any rate, uh, and, uh, you know, passed with flying colors, and nothing was wrong and stuff, so, so he said, uh, uh, well, you're in really great shape, and your mother lived to be in her 90s and stuff, and, you know, how long do you think you're going to hang around? And I said, well, you know, a lot of our friends, you know, Bob Hope and UB Blake and people, uh, you, you know, live to be 100. I think I'll shoot for 100. And he said, well, the way you're going, you're probably going to make it. And I said, well, there's a problem with that, Doc. I said, I could walk out of your office right now and get hit by a truck, and that would be it. And without blinking an eye, he said, not necessarily. How big is the truck? <laughs> yeah. I, uh, because uh, many times. The land of lost props, ladies and gentlemen. Because a lot of times when I tell you people about Fred and his history and magic, they don't believe what I'm saying. And I went to the castle library and picked this up last night. And, uh, I can, I can, you can have this, Fred. <laughs> but for those of you who doubt my word about Fred Willard being a marvelous magician, I would like to say, ah, ah, yes. <laughs> this, this, this was where he was a very young man. And, uh, and they, when he finally got out of Ohio, they made him shut down the tent. <laughs> That's for you, Fred. You can have that for your very own. Thank you very much. And uh, uh, Arlene, warm up the car. We're out of here. Thank you very much. Good, good. Thank you so much. Thank you. It was just wonderful.
Thanks for joining us. You know, I can already feel the excitement building for our next Hollywood Media Professional Celebrity Showcase.